What's going on guys, Asian guy here bringing you my personal top 5 most anticipated legends that I would like to see put into One Piece Treasure Cruise. Now if you'd like to share your own top 5, please go ahead and do so with the link in the description down below. It will take you to a Google survey slash a Google document where you can basically type out your top 5. I'm going to be collecting all that data and then making a separate video for the community top 5 of the most anticipated legends. And thank you to everyone from my Discord as well as the subreddit for One Piece Treasure Cruise who has already filled out the survey. It should only take around 30 seconds to one minute. Not too much, just list your top five, the characters you wanna see put into One Piece Treasure Cruise as a legend. Manga characters are welcome as well as anime characters. Dual units, duo units, maybe even trio units, who knows, as well as V2s, V3s, V4s, and in Luffy's case, V5s. I am aware, guys, that not everybody reads the manga, so there will be no manga spoilers in here whatsoever, so do not worry about that. There will be a separate video, which will, of course, have a massive spoiler alert on it, which will cover the popular manga characters that people would like to see in the game as legends. But let's begin with number five. Coming in at number 5, we have none other than a V2 and now 200 million volt Amaru. I would love to see this version no longer as a raid but instead as a legend. He does have a Kai raid, he has a normal raid in this form and he also has a V1 legend separately which is a different ability. Now his V1 legend, let's be realistic here, is one of the worst legends in the game by far now. Terrible captain ability, special ability is just a meme, it's very niche and it's been completely dicked on and given the willy willy by Akainu V2. Nobody really likes you Akainu, alright? You have to ruin everything, you have to go ahead and murder Ace and you gotta break our hearts with Anel fans as well. Anel is a massive antagonist, a major antagonist I should say, in One Piece of one of the longest arcs, the Skypiea arc. In fact, I believe the Skypiea arc is one of the longest arcs in any anime whatsoever. So I would definitely love to see him come and shine with that 200 million Bow Amaru in that ability because the in-game sprite right now of the 5 star raid version is actually superb. It's one of my favorites. I would love to see a legend version because Bandai in a good way kill it when it comes to in-game sprites, especially for legends, for example, Dofu V2. Any of those ones where it's flowing and it looks really awesome. And also anyone that wields lightning, in my opinion, is a very, very badass character. So I would definitely like to see Anel. There is a very high potential we'll see him in the future. This isn't a manga spoiler or anything because nothing's been announced about Anel ever since he went off to the moon, supposedly. He hasn't shown up. There's been really no major hints, maybe subtle hints that he'd come back. But we'll just have to wait and see with Anel. Let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comment section down below. Moving on to number four. いったい Coming in at number 4 with a slightly different take on dual units, I don't see why the dual units have to specifically be allies, they don't in my opinion. How about two rivals or two enemies going at it against each other when they switch, there's maybe some cheeky interaction or when the special activates, you have the fist clashes for example between none other than from film gold, CP0 Lucci and Sabo, the greatest cock block in One Piece movie history when it comes to fight scenes. Everybody wanted to see this fight unfold because let's be real, the fight in my opinion for Tesoro vs Luffy was honestly not that interesting, it wasn't that engaging. In the back of my head, I just wanted to know what was that what the hell was going down with Luchi and Sabo. That was the main takeaway for me in One Piece Film Gold. I would love to see, even as a standalone unit, CP0 Luchi. I think he's a fan favorite, especially another major, major, major antagonist. 
The Water 7 arc was by far my favorite arc because of the Luchi and Gear 2 Luffy showdown. One of the greatest fight scenes I've seen of that time and era for anime. That's what really sucked me into One Piece. I saw it on the side when I was in China watching some illicit DVDs. Yikes from me there, but I have to say Luchi is definitely a full on badass even though he got clapped by a G2 Luffy. Let that sink in, he got clapped by a G2 Luffy. Yeah, he's still a pretty damn strong legend on OPTC, the V2 nonetheless. So I would definitely love to see a V3 or at least a 6 plus version, which goes into CP0 Luchi. Realistically speaking, we are most likely going to be getting a V3 if he's going to go into the CP0 version. We haven't seen any real combat from him other than that scene that I just showcased to you guys from Film Gold of CP0 Luchi going at it. We don't know if he has any new abilities, what his fight style is now but I am hell excited because he is freaking awesome and the outfit is awesome and of course that moment when Sabo appears with the Hiken and he says it's freedom I freaking love that as well the badassery in that scene I want it I want it embodied in One Piece Treasure Cruise let's move on to number three <laughs> At a strong number three, we have got Dracul Mihawk, the man with the eyes to make you cream your pants, the man who put Zoro in the BDSM section of Pornhub. I want to see this Mihawk, the one with a short dagger, the one that slices up Don Kree's ship, the East Blue version when we first saw him. As you saw from there, the One Piece story of East Blue, the remastered version of that fight scene. It's so clean. It's super high definition. It's beautiful. It's actually beautiful. And Mihawk is one of those characters where I don't know why, but Bandai really loves to give him the top-notch artwork, the special treatment. He looks completely beautiful in every single version that he has on the game. Even the story mode version looks awesome. However, the one downfall of this Mihawk is that it seems, well not this Mihawk, of Mihawk in the game, outside of the raid versions that they just keep giving like the time skip version they give the raid not the raid the marine ford version and what i would like to see is this specific version as a legend where he faces off against zoro i know mihawk is also a fan favorite i know this is another v2 slash v3 but i would love to see the greatest swordsman have the highest attack out of all the swordsmen in the game as a base rather than just from limit break you know i would like to see as a base for him to be higher than Arlong. That would be very, very nice, Bandai. Please make it happen. Let's move on to number two. Mugiwara <laughs> Coming in at second place for my personal list, it is Zephyr. Now, I would love to see him in the game. We have now seen Shiki. And to Zoro, One Piece Film Z is my favorite One Piece movie. He is my favorite One Piece villain or antagonist in those movies. And I mean, he's kind of like a pseudo antagonist. If you haven't seen the movie, I won't tell you exactly what happens, but I think everyone knows already. He's not really a bad guy at heart. Now, it doesn't help that his voice actor is freaking Jiraiya from Naruto because the feels just keep coming back and they don't stop coming and they just keep on coming. Zephyr, Zephyr, Zephyr. I would love to see him in the game, either as a fighter or a powerhouse. Even as a shooter, even though on his final stand he doesn't really do any shooting, he is predominantly a shooter throughout the movie. So 
I don't know how they'd implement him in the game. I'm pretty sure, like 99% certain, they are going out of their way to get the licensing rights to introduce these characters as legends into the game. For Tazora, they've done it. For Shiki, they've done it. And next up, I really hope they're going to do it with Zephyr. Brilliant character. I love the character design. I would, in fact, you know, I wouldn't mind to see like a Zephyr Aokiji dual unit, although it's extremely unlikely, or Zephyr batch with all the admirals as well as the the people under his wing the two students he has i completely forgot their name because in my mind they're slightly irrelevant sorry to everyone that has the blue haired guards their waifu but yeah marine batch with zephyr would be absolutely fantastic let me know what you guys think what kind of units would you want him to be but i really think that if the shooter revamp is not going to be capone bring on zephyr absolutely just bring him on let's move on to last but not least, in fact, first place, let's move on to it. In first place, the character that I want to see made a legend on One Piece Treasure Cruise more than anybody else is Bartholomew Kuma. He is the guy that took me from watching the anime into reading the anime and following One Piece religiously. I remember watching this episode and it gave me the chills. It was such a suspenseful, such an adrenaline filled episode and so emotional. The calm demeanor he has, it's superb. The voice acting is superb. What a character, absolutely love him and as you can probably tell by my top three, I like the characters that aren't exactly the bad guys but are kind of like the bad guys. They play the bad guy role to give the main characters the growth that they need. Now Kuma, he did recently get a Colosseum and the artwork for that Colosseum unit is, on, in my opinion, it's legend tier. I think it's a fantastic piece of artwork and I was very disappointed to see that it was just a free to play Colosseum unit and not something you could get super excited for when you pull it or if you're trying to pull for it in the form of a legend. Bartholomew Kuma, the shadow ally that the Straw Hats needed and he came the hero that they wanted but didn't deserve. I really want to see him glorified as a legend. Guys, that has been my top five. Please let me know what your top five or top 10 or any characters that you would like to see as a legend implemented into One Piece Treasure Cruise. If possible, please do leave it on the survey in the link in the description down below. I'll be covering that as a community video later on during the week or next week. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. I really look forward to what you guys think about this kind of video as well as what kind of legends or what kind of units you would like to see as legends in the future of One Piece Treasure Cruise. Thank you so much for watching guys and have a wonderful, wonderful day. Bye bye.